Welcome to the Thriving Artist Podcast, where we share strategies and support for artists to thrive. We know that the art world can feel like a lonely place, and we want to provide a network of support, impactful strategies, and an abundance of encouragement to help you grow your authentic art career. We're your hosts. I'm Jamie Smith. And I'm Kaylin Butine, and we are also the co-founders of the Thrive Together Network, a community of female and non-binary identifying artists and artists who are caregivers. We truly believe in community over competition, and we're so glad you're here. Enjoy this episode. Welcome to another episode of the Thriving Artist Podcast. We're so happy that you're here with us us this week. I'm Jamie Smith. I'm one of your hosts, and my summer is all about friends and family and time with people. I'm out of winter cold Canadian hibernation (laughs) and out in the world. I'm Kaylin Butine, your second host. For me, summer is also definitely about being outside. We really prioritize being active and enjoying my home and my community and doing all of that with my family, of course. I will say summer is also a hard time as an artist. I think it can be hard to stay focused because it feels like there's always something fun to do and it it can be hard to stay motivated in the studio. Um, We love and value breaks. So maybe you just take a complete break in the summer But, you know, many of us do have goals that we're working towards. We can't just take two or three months off, right? So we wanted to share an episode with some inspiration on how to make art in small moments this summer, because that might be all you have over the next few weeks as your kids are home, as you're going in between weddings and trips and, you know, taking the dog for lots of long walks and hikes, right? Yeah, and I think that this idea of small moments just takes a lot of pressure off and it is possible. So we wanted to share our first tip and that is to prep an art kit for your summer. So I will probably not get my normal studio days and my normal studio life and be physically at my studio. So I want to take some time to beforehand put together a little kit of my pen and ink and my papers. And, you know, it depends on your studio practice, but somehow getting a little kit together, whether it's a sketchbook or you're going to take pictures on your phone so that when you're out in the world and maybe you're not able to get to the studio that you can work on your art and feel like an artist over the summer. Absolutely. And really one of the reasons that I have included textiles in my practice over the last few years is because textiles can be portable and you can grab like just a little bag with some fabric and some, you know, thread and you can have that ready to go. So um, I love the idea of having a set apart sort of system, a little mini studio that you can take um, different places. And you can do that really with any materials that you work with. You just have to be creative in how you set up a little kit for yourself. Mm -hmm. And tip number two on how to make art in small moments this summer is to have work ready at the midpoint. So this is a trick I use all the time, not just in the summertime, but I find that it's really hard for me to start work fresh Mm -hmm. and sort of this idea of a brand new idea. I, I kind of imagine like cranking a wheel from zero and it's just so much effort and push to get that wheel to move. But when it's already in motion, it's just a little push to keep it going. And so I think about this a lot in the summer is how could I get a drawing or something that I'm doing kind of halfway or at least started? There's some marks on the paper. I'm not going from zero to a hundred in that moment because my small moments might be small chunks of times, you know, of time, like 10 to 20 minutes. And I want to have a plan. You can't really in those small chunks, just start Mm -hmm. something new. I have find that really difficult. So just try to get some things and it's sort of having these like supplies with you or take some time beforehand to plan out a couple ideas. And it's sort of helping your future self when you're not able to really creatively think and problem solve to be like, here's your free pass card. You just Mm -hmm. need to finish this rose and then you'll feel good. So I really like that. It feels like progress rather than 
dread of starting something brand new. I love that one. So tip number three on how to make art in small moments this summer is to go small. So this connects, not quite the same, but sometimes it feels really like great work has to be huge, right? And that is just simply not true. If you are only able to carry a pad of paper this summer, I think it's still valuable to make small work. That small work can always become something bigger. If you decide you could be doing a series of sketches or you could just be thinking through ideas, writing studio notes, right? Making art in small ways is so valuable and actually sometimes smaller work can be sold more easily, right? On Instagram. Mm -hmm. So don't go afraid. Don't be afraid to go small in order to make art in small moments this summer. Mm -hmm. And very closely connected to this is tip number four, everything counts. So, you know, in the next weeks, if you actually only get time for really thinking, journaling, ruminating on ideas, maybe you only get time to really rest. Mm -hmm. Those things all count because we do need those sort of prep times creatively and recharge times as creatives to then go on and create our sort of masterpieces. So whatever happens this summer, it does count. And by going in sort of intentionally and thinking in these in these tips and having these ideas um, will really help you kind of get the most out of these small moments. So don't, don't discount uh, the small moments of art making, even if it's just happening in your head, it's yes. happening. <laughs> well, we all know that mental labor is real labor. So, you know, it takes yeah. a lot of thoughts to be an artist. Um, and finally, tip number five in how to make art in small moments this summer is just to be present. It's so easy to get caught up in everything that we want to do throughout the year. We are overloaded by obligations. There are things in the summer even that you feel like you just have to do, um, you know, to, to make summer count, right? And we just want you to relax and lean in and enjoy a break, enjoy a time of rest and a time of being present with either your work, with yourself, with your family, with the earth, right? Connecting with the outdoors. Hopefully you have good weather where you are. So we want you to be present, to observe, to look, to think, reflect, and enjoy the life that is also your art, right? As an artist, Mm -hmm. your whole very presence and living is an art form in and of itself. I love that. It's so easy to forget, but as artists, we everything we experience comes back to help us. And so it feeds one another and our home life and all that is also our art life. So we don't want to discount um, whatever stage we're at and whatever we do this summer, it's all part of it. So a good little reminder to end uh, end this wonderful episode off on. Yes. Thank you for listening. And just thank you for supporting the work that we are doing to try to support artists who thrive, who are making it happen, who are enjoying their lives in the process. That's what Jamie and I are here and what we're trying to do at the Thrive Together Network. You can always find out more at thrivetogethernetwork.com. And as always, Jamie and I are here for you. We are cheering you on and we believe in the work that you are doing as thriving artists in the world. 